are live of the situation on the Clark Memorial Bridge. This truck is hanging off the side of the bridge and you can see right now a rescue operation is underway. Louisville Fire Department. It looks as though they have another person with that firefighter who is currently dangling right now attached to a ladder truck that is stationed on the bridge. We've been monitoring this situation really ever since we came on the air here live at noon. We were told at one point that there was a possibility of a driver still being in the cab of that truck. Since that time, we have seen a rescue operation taking place where firefighters have been trying to get a person out. And now you can see they are raising that person up over the ledge towards the uh, bridge itself. Now again, I want to stress these are live images we are showing you. We had delayed showing you live images early be while the scene continued to play out. The second street bridge as of right now we know is completely shut down in both directions. LMPD saying that it will be shut down for a period of time. Now we are watching the dramatic scenes right now. Again, a lot of this was what we saw at the beginning of the 12 o'clock newscast. We had word of a semi truck that had um, fallen or come off the Clark Memorial Bridge was hanging off and we've been monitoring it ever since. Again, LFD now on the bridge undergoing a rescue operation as they're trying to get that driver to safety who had been hanging off in the cab of that truck. Now we are again live pictures at this point. You can see firefighters continuing to raise them up. This shot I will tell you is coming up from underneath the bridge. We have another camera here in studio that is looking at it more from an above angle. And so while it looks like they have cleared the railing of that bridge, it is not the case as of yet. They are still trying to get high enough to get to safety and eventually bring that driver and the firefighter back on to the bridge. This uh, very dramatic scene, uh, just making sure you can understand the gravity. We are again going to be watching this scene for a while. Just taking a quick pause there to try to allow the gravity of the situation to kind of set in. This again, very active scene. We are now um, continuing to get a better a look from our camera down there underneath the Clark Memorial Bridge. It looks like they're moving, so we're gonna take the shot now from one of our traffic cams. You can see what I was telling you earlier. When you look at the above angle, they are still not quite above the Clark Memorial Bridge yet. So they are trying to get everybody to safety. LFD have a ladder truck out there. This is the apparatus they have been using for the last, let's say 15, 10, 15 minutes to try to get a driver or a, a firefighter down there to get the driver out of this truck. Again, I wanna to stress to you, what you are watching right now are live images of the Clark Memorial Bridge as a rescue operation is underway. This, uh, a scene that we really, a terrifying scene to, when you take a wide look at it and see just how close this truck was to uh, something absolutely catastrophic. I want to join, uh, I want to welcome Brooke Hash out to the desk with me joining right now. Brooke, this is something we've been watching for really since the noon kicked off. This is a developing situation and this really the, the, the pinnacle of what we've been watching right now. Yeah, I'm still kind of shaken because all of us are in the newsroom. Everything else is just kind of stopped. It's been mm -hmm. at a standstill because, I mean, you're taking a look at this video. Yeah. And you are, what we heard was possibly a woman, mm -hmm. a female who was the driver in this truck. This is a Cisco truck, as you saw. Mm -hmm. We don't know how much food, you know, what is in that. But you can just imagine being that driver and for the last hour. Yeah, better part of an hour at this point. Just Has hanging. been just staring down at the Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, so what a magnificent, I mean, you're still seeing this as we speak, still hanging on. But, um, and what we've noticed here in the last few minutes is the ladder truck seems to be retracting, pulling them back towards right. the bridge. So it appears that they're high enough at this point. Now it's just a matter of getting themselves back to the bridge itself. And you can see the mob of firefighters standing on the edge there, waiting for them to get close enough to try to pull both of those, the firefighter and that driver to safety. Right. I just, I can't imagine the, the type of phone call that was being had in the cab of that truck. Um, just, just knowing, we have no idea how the, 
the trailer. Yes. If it's just within inches of slipping. Yep. Um, if they've been able to anchor that somehow, just to make sure that it didn't move. It, 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 in, as you mentioned, this is a Cisco truck. We don't know how much food may have been on it. The balance and the weight distribution in that truck is something that these firefighters would have had to take into immediate account um, while they were trying to create this rec rescue operation. Um, again, dramatic scenes continuing to play out. Uh, we do know that one of our reporters, Jose Alonso, is on scene right now near the Second Street Bridge. I want to go ahead and get to Jose and see exactly what he is seeing at this point. Jose, if you can hear me, describe to me a little bit about what the scene is like from your end as we, it looks like they get them off the bridge. Is that what we're seeing right now? It looks like they may have gotten that firefighter and that driver clearing the bridge at this point. And it looks like they've been able to get them just about to safety. Uh, so Jose, let's go ahead and go to you. What is your vantage point from this whole situation? Hey there, yeah, what we're seeing right now, there's a whole scene. I'm actually at the bell of Louisville, right off the river. And from what we could see from our cameras, from the zoom, is that it looks like they did rescue that driver. Of course, we're waiting for officials to confirm that. But we did see somebody come down the line and take the driver out of their window, did not open the door but out of their window. We do want to go ahead and show you some of that footage that we've been capturing earlier of the scene while it was going down. I mean, again, we have a lot of people here right next to the Bell of Louisville, taking videos, images, showing that they're worried. They've already been talking to me about what's been going on. And just again, describing the scene, it looks like the bridge is completely closed off. It looks like the vehicle is actually right in the middle of the bridge, neither closer to Indiana or Kentucky, but right in the middle. If you can confirm, it is a Cisco truck. We do see that logo on the back of it as well. But we do see an entire scene in regards to having lifeboats on scene at this moment. We got a helicopter in the sky. I also saw a drone. I'm also seeing EMS here as well, staring at it from this side of the river, ready to go with a boat and a gurney if needed be. But again, this is what we're learning at this moment. But of course, we still have a lot of questions that people are asking me, and of course, we're gonna be asking officials once we can get some more answers on how exactly did this happen? How did this truck end up getting to that point? And again, it's still hanging there at this moment. Everybody's very worried. And this is exactly what we've just been dealing with at this moment. And again, everybody is very interested and I've talked to some people who said they were in the building right that views right down into the river and they came all the way down once they saw it themselves of course we heard it from the scanners but again this is what is exactly going on we're gonna stick around here and of course talk to some of the people around here see what exactly is going on and hopefully we hear from officials that there has been a safe rescue at this moment reporting live in Louisville I'm Jose Alonso for WHS 11 on your side Jose, thank you very much for that report. And uh, Brooke, I think a, a sigh of relief coming from us here at the desk because we've seen now that that driver is safe back on the bridge. It looked like they may have put them on a gurney and wheeled them away to get some treatment as well. But a collective sigh of relief, Ooh. I think, going through both you and me here on the desk and then also really throughout the newsroom and really throughout everybody who's on that scene. And we don't know if there were any injuries no. involved. We know they were able to get this driver out. Again, we were being told that it was a female driver with Cisco. That is, again, through scanner traffic. So yeah. more will come to light when all of this comes out. You're taking a look at the video again. This is that, that sole rescuer, our hero of the day, yeah. who was able to rappel down and get her through a window. You can... You can say that again, and, and Brooke, I, sorry for cutting you off there, but we've talked about, you talked about that fear earlier yeah. of just hanging over the edge looking down at the Ohio River. I can't imagine the mixture of emotions going on in the scene that you're looking at right now as right. that firefighter is there telling you, we have to get you out of here. Walking you through that process, yeah. handing you all the ropes and the harness and pretty much probably having to walk that person through it in a tiny cab that they're in and again hoping that everything's okay yeah exactly hoping and there are no major injuries i'd be on a gurney too but taking a look at this and this is this is remarkable again second street bridge the cisco semi went off the side of it uh, within the noon hour and for the last 45 minutes or so we have watched 
as little firefighters, police, everyone who could get here got here in a moment's notice and tried to figure out the best way to get to this driver. And as you have seen, a fire truck, a ladder truck, pretty much fully extended, mm -hmm. put a guy on there and rappelled down. And it took quite a while to get there and then to bring them back up. But And you also called amazing. that firefighter who was rappelling down a hero. He absolutely is. You, you think about the, the group of firefighters who were sitting on the bridge. All they could do was watch. Right. One man had to go in there and try to get that person out of the cab, and he did it successfully. Saved that person's life as well. Um, what a, a, a terrifying situation with an amazingly uh, grateful ending for really everybody involved. Yeah, and, and for the family and the friends of this person, I, I, I can't imagine the phone calls that were maybe being said again in that cab, if there yep. was any FaceTime going on, uh, voicemails being left, but my gosh, they can now come home tonight. A big sigh of relief from everybody here. We're going to go ahead and take a break, and we'll be back with more from WHAS 11 News at Noon coming up in just a minute.